Hey first graders, it's Miss Fields. I am back with a read aloud called Memoirs of a Hamster. And I love this book because the hamster is writing the story from his cage. I hope you enjoy it. Night one, my life is perfect. I have a bowl of seeds, a cozy pile of wood shavings and room to run. I'm never leaving here. Question, who's the luckiest hamster in the world? Answer, me. Night two. I was just telling myself, Seymour, you've got it made. When my exercise wheel was delivered, I like to work out. It's the best model around, the Fuzzy Boy 360, shiny as a new dime and fast as lightning. I don't know how many miles I put in, but I was on that wheel all night. Night three. It took me a while to get the hang of my new water bottle, but it's great. It's important, too. A hamster has to stay hydrated. Back to my wheel. I've got another hour to put in before daylight. <laughs> Night four. Little girl came by and gave me a kiss on the nose. Nasty. Hello. Ever heard of germs? But she also gave me two yogurt drops. Question, what's better than a yogurt drop? Answer, two yogurt drops. I ate one and tucked the other in my cheek to save for later. This hamster has it going on. <laughs> Night five. I was just climbing onto my wheel tonight when Pearl the cat came by. You know, she said, you run for miles every night, but you never leave that cage. What's it all for? I don't know, I said. It's what hamsters do. What a complete waste of time, she said. Have fun in your cage. I'm going to the sunroom. Sunroom? What's a sunroom? Night six. Little girl woke me up to clean my cage today. She kissed me on the nose again. Barf. She needs to knock that off. But while she was carrying me around, I realized there's a lot of house around me that I haven't seen. It seems to go on forever. I tried as hard as I could, but I couldn't see a sunroom. Little girl gave me a yogurt drop, and I completely forgot about the sunroom. Whatever a sunroom is, is it better than a yogurt drop? Answer, no. Night 7. I planned on running a marathon tonight but my Fuzzy Boy 360 is a little squeaky. Pearl came over to the cage looking a little annoyed. You really need to get yourself out there, she said. But why, I asked. I've got my wheel, I've got my seeds, I've got yogurt drops. You wouldn't need a wheel out here, she said. There's plenty of room to run. The staircase is made of sunflower seeds and the sunroom is filled with yogurt drops. As she was walking away, she turned around and said, Watch out for Hoover. Hoover? Who's Hoover? Night eight. I didn't sleep a wink all day. Little girl came by and kissed me on the nose. Yuck. And then I had a terrible workout. I just couldn't focus. How could I concentrate knowing what I know? Imagine a whole staircase made of sunflower seeds and the sunroom. Don't I deserve to be in the sunroom? Buck the dog came by to give my cage a sniff and I said, Buck, do you like the sunroom? Big goofy Buck said, I love the sunroom. It's so sunny and he trotted away. Night nine. No workout tonight. I spent the whole evening putting together a plan. I went over every square inch of my cage, and I think I've got it figured out. Operation Tasty Treat is set for tomorrow night. Hello, staircase. Hello, sunroom. Night ten. Good old Seymour is one smart hamster. My escape went like clockwork. I moved the seed dish. Then I was able to muscle the fuzzy boy to the front of the cage. I had a little trouble climbing outside of the wheel. It kept spinning and I wasn't getting anywhere. But Sweet Pearl suggested I jam a sunflower seed at the side of the wheel and it worked. After that it was easy. I shimmied up the wheel and popped the lid right off. Question, who's going to eat every yogurt drop in the sunroom? Answer, me.